the authorities were asked to check on an abandoned house that was reportedly emitting a terrible smell throughout the entire village of Tolier in Madagascar. Others thought that it was a late night party gone wrong, but it was actually worse than that. What could it be? Let's find out. Before we start with the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest uploads. People in town knew something was up with that house, but they were also a little hesitant to check it out. City ordinances and common sense dictate that entering a property, even something abandoned like this, is considered trespassing. But because the scent kept getting stronger and stronger to the point that it impacted their health, they had to call up for some help from the police. The property was supposedly abandoned, but some people reported that a few regularly came to the house and would go out after a few hours. The police prepared a huge task force to deal with the situation. Just in case things were going to get physical, they had weapons prepared. For the possibility that the odor came from a dead body, they had medical staff and forensic experts on the ready. There was also a chance it could be animal related, so they had a wildlife expert, Sori Ranjan Jefasanaka, on the ready. Some of the people couldn't get any closer to the house because the smell was so terrible. The ones who were able to bear it were able to get the doors open. The cops were surprised to see some shadows in the hallway. Upon noticing that they were armed with shovels, the police immediately pointed their guns at the men, defending themselves. The unidentified men dropped their shovels and raised their hands rather quickly as if to admit to their crime straight away. It turns out that the shovels weren't for fighting, but for digging with the intent to hide something. When the men were arrested, they went into the house and investigated. Almost immediately, they found the cause of the complaint. Thousands of tortoises were crawling all over the house. They were literally covering the floor of the whole household. The house they were in was a wreck and in no condition to house these creatures. There was no light, food, and water for them. If humans can't live in such a condition, these baby creatures wouldn't too. Randry and Jeff Sinaka, the wildlife expert, was quick to ask the police to bring them to safety. Each second wasted might cost the life of these poor creatures. Some of the ones who weren't moving were already dead or at the brink of death. There was no time to do a formal investigation, so they brought them somewhere safe first. Once Ranger and Jefasanaka and her team could have a proper look at these animals, they identified the kind of tortoises they were. They were called radiated tortoises because of a star-like pattern on their backs. The men arrested were likely poachers hoping to sell these animals for their rarity. Because they were docile in nature, they were pretty easy to poach. Some people would buy them to keep as pets, and in worst cases, even eat them as a delicacy. However, these actions are obviously illegal, knowing that these creatures are gravely endangered. They're almost extinct because of these unlawful activities. Their numbers were already reportedly low at 12 million in the 1990s. In 2010, the numbers have gone down to about 6 million. And now, even with multiple efforts to preserve the numbers, their population has still gone down to less than 3 million. It wasn't easy to bring these animals to safety. Mind you, there were about 9,000 of them at that crime scene. Each one that lived meant a contribution to its potential increase in number. Because many were sick due to the harsh treatment, it would take a significant amount of time and resources to nurse them back to good health. Despite the hard work of the vets in the area, not all of the baby tortoises survived. It was still a good number though, at 8,000. From a numbers perspective, that's great news, but what should the people do now? Should they be released back into the wild where other poachers were waiting for their chances? No. While the men in the house were taken in, many more like them were still out there. Fortunately, a group of experts and the wildlife conservatories volunteered to take them in. They were going to protect these animals, give them food, water, attention, and love until they're ready to be back in their natural habitat. We could only hope that they do a great job so that their population rises back to what it once was. While the tortoises are now enjoying their lives, things haven't been too good for the men captured earlier. They were taken to jail with increased sentences. Now they know what it's like to be crammed into a small space. Hopefully this serves as a warning to those who illegally poach animals for money. If you like that, please subscribe to the channel and check out our other videos. Please hit the notification bell so you'd be informed when we upload new videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time!